Hey guys, this is Dave and Ben from Dads Are Funny. And we are watching the pre-game footage, which is pretty much all you have, I think, Ben, <laughs> of the uh, U-Minecraft Episode 3 Hunger Games 2.0, brought to you by uh, Eximius Gaming, who provided the server, as well as uh, U-Minecraft in general. So, Ben, what were your initial thoughts as you were waiting for the countdown timer to tick off? Uh, this is going to be short. Right. And yeah. you you kind of had that premonition before before uh, things took off, right? Yeah, it was just you know I'm not exactly the best gamer in the world, not when it comes to Minecraft. So it was just kind of like one of those things. Well, like, like PV, PVP in oh, particular, yeah. right? No, I'm terrible with that. But uh, just kind of taking a look around, I figured that there would be a uh, uh, the people would be better players than I would. So yeah, you know. yeah, and. Did you have, like, a strategy in mind, or you were just going to run like that? <laughs> it was actually really funny, because uh, I don't think we got it on the video or the audio, but I actually uh, said, I asked, actually asked the question, I was like, uh, to be PETA or Kato? And if you haven't read the uh, Hunger Games, my basic question was, was I going to stay and fight and try to get all the goods, or was I going to run for the hills and try to save myself? And hide out. Yeah, I decided in the end that I was going to be uh, PETA, but I didn't take off quick enough. Right. Now, you can see there's we're, we're doing the prep work here to get ready, and I'm actually running around as Chuck Norris since I'm both a sort of game maker and also a player. So I had the Chuck Norris character flying around, and then I had the Dave uh, character in, in the tube, uh, probably five or six tubes away from you to the left. Yeah. Uh, there's Missy to the right, and then all the way around the circle back again. Um, so when, when you were starting out, did you think that you were going to grab a chest or no, or what, what did you ultimately decide? I mean, we'll see it here in a few minutes. My goal was just to kind of put some distance between me and the, uh, and, uh, whoever won the loot. But, um, my goal was going to be to, uh, put some space in between us, find some animals, get some food, and then, uh, run around and look for a chest. Right. But, uh. And there are plenty of chests on this map. Now, unfortunately, I think, as we'll see, you you didn't get to... You, you were like me in the sense that we didn't get to experience a lot of the cool parts of this map. Yeah, I didn't even make it, a, what well, is it, 100 meters? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. We'll see here in a bit. But uh, were, you, were there any... Were you thinking about any kind of alliances? Or were you thinking, I better stay clear of the Dads Are Funny crew? Or what about the other players? Did you have any feelings, <laughs> any smack talk before the... Uh, it was just like one of those things. People are like, oh, I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, yeah, you probably are. <laughs> I'm like, I'm one of those characters in the Hunger Games that didn't get written about because they weren't Oh, very... okay. So you're yeah. like district like eight or yeah, nine I was like, or something. I was like cannon fodder. Yeah, okay. All right. You're well, you're like the like the backup Hunger Games guy. Yeah. Was... You're like the uh, the target dummy they use, whatever, what is it, District 4, where they have all the professional players? You, you... Uh, District 1 and 2. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so basically then you were saying that you you felt like that you were going, did you did you decide to go the PETA route? I mean, is that what you felt like was the best thing to do, to sort of run and get away? Yeah, because I knew my uh, strengths were definitely not in uh, PvP, so I decided that it would probably be better for me to put some space and use my survival skills that I rarely have but nonetheless have i figured those are stronger than my pvp um yeah right right now i don't know if you guys saw it here but uh we did have some starting uh issues in the sense that we had a couple of uh players that were jumping up and down in their tubes like and, hooligans yeah like little hooligans and they ran out of energy that's one of the things <laughs> that's one of the things that'll lower your health is if you're jumping around so we actually had to kill them and put them back in their tubes so they wouldn't start uh you know at a with, disadvantage. Yeah, right? with no health. So that got a little old after two or three people. But uh, And then it's funny because Bram's asking here if there's going to be a grace period. And I'm thinking, you know, this is the Hunger Games. There's no grace period. Yeah, that's I'm not read the book. Yeah, that's not how it works. It's like as soon as you step off that pedestal, it's like fair game. Yeah. So and, those mines are deactivated. Yeah, so I'm letting people know that's going to be the case. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised Bram asked that because I, I thought maybe he had read the Hunger Games and... And obviously, you can set your own rules for whatever you want to do, and you could theoretically have your own. Uh, <laughs> you could have your own uh, rules, and you could do whatever grace period you want. But it just didn't seem to make sense. Plus, we've got the countdown timer here, so we know that we have a ninety-second window from the time uh, the countdown timer starts oh to when we goodness. pop out. Now, Ben, was that like an eternity? Uh, it was just like 
I know I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. And then it was just like, can we just get this over with, man? Now, here's people, some people saying they want to kill Mary and then other people saying they want to protect her, which I thought was funny because once the poop hit the fan, it was like everybody for themselves, which I thought was interesting. Scatter! Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I know that for me, even the short period that I was playing, it was like everything I had thought about before I started went out the window. I wasn't thinking about anything except just getting to the next block or, you know, walking the next block uh, meter, if you will, or, uh, you know, getting to the chest. And I know even talking to Mary, she felt the same way. Now, I imagine, Ben, you were like me in the sense that you didn't get to go too far into the game, but did you feel like... I guess there was really no point. Did you ever feel like maybe you had a chance, or like maybe maybe when you first started running, it was kind of like I was like, oh well, you know, I'll just climb some elevation, get a view, and then uh, they'll actually be able to see it, and we'll come back to that uh, because I you can actually see where I started climbing the hill, and then I realized, oh, I'm being chased by a guy that has armor and a sword, and it's like twenty seconds into the game, yeah. I, yeah. I literally last for a grand total of probably 30 seconds. You know, it's funny because I've thought about being able to reuse this map. There's a mod that lets you uh, basically randomize chests. I shouldn't say it's a mod. It's a plug-in for Bucket. And basically what you can do is have a map that you use over and over again. And the only difference, the locations are the same, the trees, the ground, the buildings. But any chest that you open is going to be different every time you reset the map. So that way, you know, like you can't say, oh, I'm going to go to the cove where all the diamonds are in the chest number six, right? Yeah. So every time you go, it's different. And so I think that that, that would make this map. Now, you and I, we could play this map no problem because we don't know what's, we have no idea. Oh, yeah. Where. But for people who've played it and gotten really far, like Mary got pretty far and, and really Missy Fenstrider got way far in. And then also, of course, Pokecam, Crazy Guy 808, people that made it toward the like the last two or three players. Yeah. They, they've explored a lot of this map. So for them, that would make this a much better experience if they did it a second time around. Yeah. And and so what would you say about the map in general? I mean, do you think, I guess, I guess it's hard for you and I specifically to talk about it, but I think it's a cool map. I liked it. I thought it was neat yeah, in terms of layout. Yeah, I was... Uh... In uh, 20 something seconds, you actually get to see I was starting to run towards a structure. Right. Uh, but I never actually made it there because there was a block and I was about to break it. Then you were like, oh, no breaking blocks. So I was like, ah. Uh. Right. You, you can only break leaves, vines, and either kind of mushroom. Yeah. Uh, either red or brown. Yeah, I never. Uh, I started running for a structure, but I never got there. Right. Now, it looks like we're getting close here. And I think at this point, Ben, here in about 10 seconds, we're going to let your... Game time commentary go. Yeah, your game commentary will kick in here in a moment. Let's see. Yep, right about now. So we're going to go ahead and go silent, guys, and let you listen to Ben as he makes his way through the world of the Hunger Games. Well, at least for a short period, anyway. Ah! Ah! Can't even run. Whatever, they're going to beat me if I stay. Oh, please say there's a chest somewhere nearby. That guy has a sword. Ah! Okay, animals are good. Coal is not, so I need something. Ah, you. Sa! Sa! Okay, well, I'm dead. I'm already dead. Yeah, it's. Ah! All right, Ben, so at this point, you're dead. And uh, wow, so you just got to that little structure and uh, uh, the bridge, I guess, and kind of got. Um, tailed tracked if you will down to that point yeah. and you're pretty much dead <laughs> all right well thanks ben and uh appreciate your uh participation in the uh, you minecraft three thanks a lot and we'll see you around ben see ya bye
Definitely.